Welcome to the level 50 mage guide for Season of Discovery. Today, I'm going to show you how to top DPS in Sunken Temple playing Fire Mage. Before we get started, hit subscribe. Talents and Runes. You'll be putting 31 points in Fire and 10 points in Frost for this build. You'll get 6% hit from Talents now, and you'll have 100% increased crit damage from Frost Spells. The runes you'll need for this build are Deep Freeze, Burnout, Molten Armor, Living Bomb, Frost Fire Bolt, Living Flame, and Spell Power. A link to this build is in the description below. Gear. We're primarily stacking Spell Crit, Spell Power, Intellect, and MP5. This raid is extremely challenging compared to Nomergon and BFD, so you'll need to be almost full Prebis if you want to have a chance at clearing this raid. I highly recommend the Rank 7 PvP gear or the Emerald Warden sets, and you can find a lot of good upgrades by making a 60 upgrade page for yourself or checking the Prebis list on Zakafi.com. I'll have a link to these in the description below. Single target rotation. Cast Pyroblast 8 seconds before the pull, then scorch one time while your Pyroblast is in the air. Cast Living Flame on CD, scorch four more times, and then Frost Fire Bolt to fill. Living Bomb and Pyroblast only when you have to move. Multi-target. Cast Pyroblast before the pull and then Living Flame on CD. Living Bomb one of every target. Blast Wave if you're in melee range. And if you're cleaving off the boss, you'll scorch five times and just Frost Fire Bolt to fill. I recommend a weak ore to track your living bomb uptimes and your scorch stacks. All of my weak ores are available in my discord in the links below. Professions. There are four professions that will grant you spell power increase. Enchanting, alchemy, tailoring, and engineering. Enchanting and alchemy paired together will give you the highest DPS output. However, if you die with the enchanting sigil, you'll have to wait 30 minutes to reapply it. So unless you're running a perfect raid, tailoring or engineering might be the better way to go. Engineering also gives you sappers, which is a DPS increase on the fights that have adds. Consumables. Firepower, Greater Arcane Elixir, Wizard Oils, Night Fin Soup, Major Mana Potions, and then Protection and Healing Pots. You will need to Mana Pot and Gym on CD to maintain your mana in these raids, especially on long fights like Aranicus. Fire Mage will slowly start getting outscaled by melee this tier. However, you can be very competitive if you play the class correctly. That's all for my level 50 Fire Mage guide. I'll be making a new video for every phase, so please remember to subscribe. And feel free to ask me anything on twitch.tv slash I'll see you next time.